fashion has never been my thing. From quite a young age, I decided that jeans and t-shirt were the way forward for me. I've never changed that. And I have no problem with spending 20, 30 pounds on a, a black t-shirt if it's got a heavy metal bands logo on it. But I'm buggered if I spend 100 pounds on the same t-shirt because it had the emblem of some fashion house run by an Italian pots. And over the last few months, there's a few times I've seen young men carrying what appear to be small handbags. And I figured, well, it, it's a satchel, or it's hung around the neck. They must be looking after it for their partner, because if you're a straight guy in a relationship, you know, women can't leave the house without a load of unnecessary crap. In fact, I think that's why women are shorter than men. It's not genetics, it's that every time they go out the front door, they're carrying a quarter of a tonne of stuff they don't need. Also, if you're a straight guy in a relationship, there are few things more terrifying than hearing your missus go, can you get me whatever, it's in my handbag. Because then that's half an hour of just swirling around stuff and not knowing what it is. Mrs. Disgruntled one time had three pairs of sunglasses in her handbag. I don't know what's going to happen that's so bright you need three pairs of sunglasses to look through it. Although I suspect it would have a mushroom cloud above it and uh, would be followed by the blast wave, like in that very traumatic scene from Terminator 2, Judgment Day. But yesterday, I was in town and three youths in their tracksuits taking selfies for Insta were walking along the street and all of them had these little fucking bags. So I stopped the lead youth and said, excuse me mate, what's going on with this here? And he looked at me and went, fucking fashion, granddad, and strutted off. And I was going to take offence at being called Grandad, because I'm only 41, but it struck me, for tracky wearing scum like that, I'm probably about the right age. This lad's 14 or 15, so his mum's probably in her mid to late 20s, so his nan's probably late 30s, early 40s. He won't know who his dad is, of course, because his mum will come from a long line of complete slags. But last night I went online to try and find out what these little man bag things are and I found an absolutely terrible article written by a fashion journalist who said that some men are rocking the man purse. Described as small enough to carry your wallet and mobile phone, they come from labels which flex. I have no idea what that means. But I do have a question. If all you're carrying is your wallet and your phone, what's wrong with your fucking pockets? They've done for years. And reading this article, I am saying this as an active gay rights campaigner and someone who, ha who has very good gay friends. The first photo that popped up of the man with his man purse, my initial thought was, what a fucking puff! Can you not reel it in a bit? Because it's obvious what's happening is that for years, designer labels have been charging women loads of money for handbags for no reason other than they have a certain fucking label on them and now they found some guttable men to do the same thing and it's part of this feminization of men so now we've got men carrying handbags there are men who wear foundation and men who straighten their hair now I used to have long hair, I used to have hair I used to have long hair but never did I think well I better put on a bit of makeup and straighten my hair to make myself look beautiful before I go out in fact, soon there won't be clearly defined men and women at all. It'll just be this fucking androgynous mess. No, I'm wrong there. You will have very masculine and very feminine people, but that will be from the trans community. Because trans women all dress like Doris fucking Day, and trans men look like extras from Die Hard. But I've come up with a solution. We can't stop this shit from going on, but we can tax it. Because I think it's terrible that women have to pay for their things for the time of the month, their tampons and sanitary towels. So why not bring in a tax on things that are terrible that men are using, like these man purses, and I propose we call it the wanker tax. Because middle-aged straight white men like me come in for a lot of flack, but we can judge things fairly well. And I can sit down and go, see that bag, that man there is a wanker, stick an extra tax on it. And that's before you get to how much these fucking things cost to begin with. Because this youth, the bag he had, although I suspect it was a knockoff, something he's got off the market because Versace doesn't have two Vs in it, this was priced at £275. So if you are a complete knobhead and you can't afford that sort of money, don't worry, go to any town, find a t-shirt printer, and for around 12 quid, he'll print you a shirt that says, look at me, I'm a gullible fucktard.